Mr Deputy Speaker, I report today on an economy that continues to grow, continues to create more jobs than ever before, and continues to confound those who seek to talk it down. An economy set on a path to a new relationship with our European neighbours and a new future outside the European Union. A future that will be full of change, full of new challenges and, above all, full of new opportunities. And in this Budget, we express our resolve to look forwards, not backwards, to embrace that change, to meet those challenges head on and to seize those opportunities for Britain. The negotiations on our future relationship with the EU are in a critical phase. My right hon. Friend the Prime Minister has been clear that we seek a deep and special partnership based on free and frictionless trade in goods and services, close collaboration on security and strong mutual respect and friendship. And as Chancellor, Mr Deputy Speaker, I am clear that one of the biggest boosts we can provide to businesses and families, one of the best ways to protect British jobs and prosperities as we build that new future, is to make early progress in delivering my right hon. Friend's vision. With an implementation agreement that allows businesses to plan and invest with confidence. And this Government will make the pursuit of that progress a top priority in the weeks ahead. But, Mr. Deputy Speaker, while we work to achieve this deep and special partnership, we are determined to ensure that the country is prepared for every possible outcome. We have already invested almost £700 million in Brexit preparations, and today I am setting aside over the next two years another £3 billion, and I stand ready to allocate further sums if and when needed. Mr Deputy Speaker, no one should doubt our resolve.